In this video, we'll be looking for some advanced conditional formatting. Let's see that. We have some three examples given. I have the first example uh, that is highlighting one column value. I have some data here given that is top products, that is product code, quantity and price. What is happening is in this column, I have products like mobile, camera, laptop, cosmetics. If I type here camera, in this column, wherever the camera appears, that should be highlighted. That is what you call highlight one column values. So now what I'll do is if I want to highlight one column values, I'll select this entire column. I'll not select the entire record, entire data. I'll select only one column and I'll go to this home tab, new rule. And there are many options available, but right now what formula will be working it? I'll go to this use a formula to determine which cells to format. Now, if you see carefully, I want to compare this column values with, with this per particular cell. So what formula I'll, I'll be using it? I'll be using is uh, equal to that is dollar a5 I'll remove the dollar sign because it's a relative reference equal to and I want to compare with this fixed cell so this is the only function I have to use and I'll just go to this format and change the format here and I'll click on ok so now this is the formula which I've used and I'll click on ok so wherever this value satisfies when it is true that time only this color will be applied so I'll click on ok so if you see the camera is highlighted now if I change the option here if I change it to let's say mobile, mobile enter. So you see mobile it is appearing three times so it has changed. So if I type here let's say I'll type here laptop enter. So laptop is appearing twice. If I, uh, if I type here perfumes enter so perfumes appearing twice. So this method you can highlight the one column values. Next one is similarly if I let's a, a bit more advanced what is that? If I get something, let's say shoes, so the entire record for the shoes should get selected. So if you see highlight entire record. So if you want to highlight entire record, if you want to put a conditional formatting for entire record, you have to select the entire database. How do you select it? You use your mouse and you can select this entire database or else second option is you just keep your cursor and yeah, you can just select this, the entire database. Next option is you can go to the home tab and you can go to this new rule use a formula to determine. Now what I'll do is I want to compare this cell fixed cell with this column values. I do not want to compare with other values. So I, I'll use a function here equal to this cell. I'll press F4, F4. So what I've done is I have locked the column. I have records which I have opened it. I want to compare with this cell that is F16 and I'll change the format. I'll choose some other yellow color format. Okay. So whenever this condition is satisfied, the entire record will be highlighted. I'll click on OK. You see, if I, if I select here shoes, the shoes is getting highlighted, the entire record. If I type here mobile, mobile record is highlighted. Let's see one more camera, it's getting highlighted. So this is working fine. Now highlighting entire record, this was the formula. I've written here for your understanding. Next is if I want to highlight column and row at the same time. For example, if you see I have three countries names, which are the column headings. If I type here China, this column should get highlighted. And second one is if I type here laptop, this row should get highlighted. The laptop row is 32 row. Okay. If you remember, we have seen this highlighting the row in the previous example. Now something new in this column, how to how do I highlight? Similarly, select the area which you want to highlight. So I'll select this area which I want to highlight. And I'll go to this home tab conditional formatting new rule. And I'll go to this user formula to determine select the same option which I've selected earlier. I'll press F4 equal to change the format. Okay. No change in the previous function formula and this one because I've used the same formula here for highlighting records and I'll click on OK. So if it comes laptop, the laptop row should get highlighted, which is perfectly fine. There's something new which I'm showing you how to highlight the columns. Similarly, right now the data is already selected if you see and I'll go to this conditional formatting, click on new rule. Now I want to compare this cell with this column heading. So what I'll do is I'll click on this user formula to determine and I'll select this F4. Yeah, this is fine because B column I've opened. That is the column I've opened and row I've highlighted that is fixed. I've done it. So C26, D26, B26, everything will be there. And I want to compare this with a fixed cell. That is this cell number that is G27 and I'll click on, I'll change the format. The format would be this one, let's say yellow color and I click on OK. So earlier, if you remember, that was column high, uh, fixed. Now it is row fixed and I'll click on OK. So if you see, if I select China, the entire column gets highlighted. If I select here Singapore, 
Singapore should get highlighted. So this way you can use highlighting columns and rows at the same time also, which looks beautiful. So I hope you have understood how do you highlight the one column values, how do you highlight the entire records and also how do you record highlight the columns and rows at the same time. So I hope you understood. That's all for this video.